everybody, welcome. Um, my name is Hans. Um, and we're here in Brooklyn, New York with Kevin Simon, aka Yes It's Fiasco. Uh, I thought we should get together face to face and celebrate the release of Kevin's new project, uh, Sleepwalker, exclusively on Woody Goat. Kevin, Sleepwalker, um, what are your thoughts on this? First of all, why the name, why the name Sleepwalker? I started sleepwalking. Yeah, which For is, real? Yeah, like, Getting up dead your serious, bed. yeah. I had woken up, and uh, I guess I was walking around, and then I started urinating in a pair of boots. <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> You know, the funny and scary thing about sleepwalking is, um, as they say, if you've ever been caught in the act, that there's probably numerous other times that you, you know, sleepwalk. Without being caught. Yeah. Yeah. And so, you know, like, I don't know, sleepwalking's kind of heavy, you know? Like, you could, like, fall off of a cliff or, like, stab your neighbor's cat or something like that. <laughs> so, like, you know, it just kind of, like, really stuck with me. So I was just like, hey, sleepwalker. What you just did back there is not really real. The disclaimer, the, like the chord progression on disclaimer is so like, it's like fantastic, you know. I, I see that, that's a Dilla homage to me. Yeah. You know, just the yeah, progress, that's like, it's that Herbie Hancock and that Dave Grusin that he used like, for all that little fantastic just stuff. Just that. Yeah, Dave Grusin's man. It's hard to work that shit out of you. Because, uh, you know, like say, Say Jaco Pistarius um, uh, is like the most influential like electric bass player. Yeah. You know, it's like Dilla is that for like you know neo soul and hip hop. Um, Gritty Goat. It's a music label that specializes in limited edition handmade releases of underground experimental music. Physical releases are, are truly handmade. If you order one of our CDs or cassette tapes and you get it, you know that that a human has has put their blood, sweat, and tears and soul into this package. More than than just being a record label in the traditional sense, Gritty Goat is is about being a community and, and just sharing ideas and inspiring each other and and having a venue to present that to the world. Can't, I can't take credit for the term Gritty Goat. I gotta, I gotta give that to Ramon, aka Radius. Radius, boy. You were just saying, et cetera. He's, he's weird, dude. He, he, coined, he coins a lot of slang terms. Affects his speech patterns. Ramon started saying Gritty Goat, like he would see something that was kind of, kind of gritty, like maybe a, maybe a bum walking down the street, but he was. Just dressed in this particularly fashionable way, like he had some flair. It's like that's that's pretty dope, you know. If your shoes don't fit, go to the bowling alley. <laughs> if you can't sleep, you gotta eat. When you can't swiffer, you gotta read a newspaper. Yeah, fondling the cup with it over here. Damn, just man, I empty. know I'm you super. Some more water, you I'm know, super like crucial with this. Here? It's weird because like I like playing with the shadows. See, see, look what happens. Ooh. See. So I've been doing that the whole time, like kind of zoning. Are you out. sleepwalking right now? I'm actually, uh, shadow tweaking. 